all the problems in 2.3 are going to look just like the rotation problems in 2.2. However, what's the difference? 2.3, when you rotate your cross section, instead of turning it to a flat disc, your uh, object you're going to rotate into is going to be a cylinder. Uh, or also known as a shell. There may be a few other names for this that are popular, but usually it's called the cylinder or shell method. And all right, so how does this form a shell? Uh, we have a cross section right here, a vertical cross section. When you rotate it about the y axis, that shape, the top point rotates like that, the bottom one rotates like that, and then the vertical piece. Uh, fills it in like this. So what you're going to get is a cylinder, not a disc. What would a disc look like? Well, if we're, if we're going to keep this rotation and also keep the same region, if I wanted to uh, go back and use the 2.2 methods, use the shell method, I'd have to have my cross section be perpendicular to my axis of rotation and then once I rotated, this would be the shape that I got right here. It would be a flat uh, disc, also known as a washer. So that was the back in 2.2. Uh, now we're in 2.3, so it's a bit different. So how does this formula work? Well, we're gonna need a few different things here. We're gonna need, uh, we wanna get the uh, area of this cylinder. So we need two different measurements. We need the height right here here. So this height, I'll use h of x. That'll be the height. We're going to need a second thing, which is the radius. Uh, so r of x will be equal to the radius. Okay, so we have two different functions now. Good news is your radius, if you look very closely, is your radius really changing? No, the, for this cross section, you're always the same distance away from your rotation axis. So how do we measure the radius? We don't uh, need to think too hard. It's always gonna be big minus small. All right, in our case here, so we're thinking about horizontal measurements right here. So big is on the right, small is on the left. Let's think of the small one first. For us, the small one is gonna be y equals zero, also known as, oh, x equals zero, also known as the x-axis. Uh, that'll be the x-axis right there. Now, what about the big one? The big one, if you think about that, well, the big one is changing, so it can't just be like one, for example. At some uh, x value, it will be one, however, it could be any x value between zero and two, and what x value is it? It's just x. Because whatever x value you're looking at, that x value that you're looking at is gonna be how far over from the origin, or from the y-axis you are. All these radiuses, or radii, will be big minus small. They will either, it'll either be x minus a constant or a constant minus x, depending on what uh, side of the region that you are rotating on. Uh, so for us, we were to the right, our, our cross section was to the right or bigger than the rotation axis. So our big was X and our small was the rotation axis X coordinate. Uh, if your region happened to be out here and you're still rot rotating on the Y axis, then uh, this would be your radius, and you would do big minus small, and that would be big would now be zero, the x-coordinate of your rotation axis, and then the small would be your actual x-coordinate, so this radius would actually be negative x. Okay, so just think big minus small, that's the important part. So I did all of this uh, as an X, uh, with X as my differentiation variable. So you see X, X, DX, so it's my uh, variable here. If you rotate about a 
horizontal line, then the role of X and Y are gonna switch, and your cross section would then, instead of be vertical, it would be horizontal, so when you rotated it, you would get a cylinder like this. And you do not need to worry if your solid is, uh, has a uh, hole in the middle or not. Either way, the cylinder uh, can take care of it. You don't have to worry about the big radius minus the small radius like you did in 2.2. So in some senses, in a lot of senses, this can be easier if there's uh, if your region is not uh, doesn't touch the rotation axis or if there's some part of uh, some hollowness in your volume.